थर्टी वन क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिविन वर्टिस ऑफ द ट्राइंगल एंड ऑल्सो वी आर गिविन द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड ऑर्थो सेंटर ऑफ द ट्राइंगल बट इन द वर्टिस ऑफ द ट्राइंगल फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ के एंड आफ्टर दिस वैल्यू ऑफ के वी हैव टू एंश्योर ऑर्थो सेंटर ऑफ द ट्राइंगल सो फर्स्ट वी अप्लाई एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल सो यूजिंग एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल हाफ टाइम एब्सोलूट वैल्यू ऑफ द डिटर्मिनेंट विच विल बी के माइनस थ्री के वन फाइव के वन माइनस के टू वन विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट वेन बी रिमूव दिस मॉडल साइन देयर विल बी प्लस माइनस साइन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड एंड वेन बी मल्टीप्लाई विद दिस टू ऑन द राइट साइड इट बिकम फिफ्टी सिक्स so there will be two cases we we will consider plus sign and also we will consider minus sign so on expanding this determinant we get two different quadratics in k one will be 5k square plus 13k minus 46 equal 0 and the other quadratic will be 5k square plus 13k plus 66 equal 0 now we can see that this quadratic in k will have its discriminant less than 0 so clearly from this quadratic no real value of k will exist no real value of k will exist so we continue with this quadratic when we factorize this quadratic we get two values of k one will be minus 23 upon 5 and the other value of k will be 2 because in the question we are given that k is an integer so we reject this value of k and we consider only value of k as integer of course it is 2 now our triangle formed will have vertices a vertex of the triangle will now become 2 comma minus 6 b vertex of the triangle will be now 5 comma 2 and the c vertex of the triangle will be minus 2 comma 2 now we have to find ortho center of this triangle as we all know that the ortho center of the triangle is the perpend is the point of congruency of the perpendicular perpendiculars it is the point of congruency of the altitudes of the triangle so we draw perpendicular from a on bc say d and we draw perpendicular from b on ac say e say this will be the ortho center of the triangle as the line joining b and c is y equal to because the ordinate of b and c are same so any line perpendicular to bc will be of the form x equal lambda as this line is also passing through vertex a which is 2 comma minus 6 so we get this line as x equals 2 from this we conclude that the apsis of our ortho center will be 2 and suppose ordinate of our ortho center will be say beta now to find beta we can again apply that the slope of bh multiplied by the slope of ac equal minus 1 and the slope of bh will be of course beta minus 2 upon 2 minus 5 will be minus 3 multiplied by slope of this ac which will be minus 8 upon 4 equal minus 1 this on solving gives beta equal half and therefore our ortho center of the triangle will have coordinates 2 comma half implies answer one is correct answer one is correct question number 32 here n is some positive integer and we are given a quadratic equation which has two positive which has two consecutive integral solutions the quadratic equation given to us is x time x plus 1 plus x plus 1 times x plus 2 plus continuing in the same manner till we have x plus n minus 1 multiplied by x plus n equal 10n now this equation is quadratic in x 
Now, from the symmetry of terms appearing in the given quadratic equation, we can put this quadratic equation in summation form. So, we can read this equation as summation r from 1 to n x plus r minus 1 multiplied by this x plus r equals tan n. When we multiply these two linear factors in x, we get summation r from 1 to n x multiplied by x will give you x square plus the coefficient of x will be 2 r minus 1 of and the constant term will be r square minus r and this is equal to tan n. Now, we distribute this summation sign over different terms of it. From this, we conclude that this quadratic equation on solving we get x square plus n x plus n square minus 31 by 3 equals 0. Now, in the question we are given that this quadratic equation will have two consecutive integer as its roots. So, we consider roots as one root is alpha and the other root will be alpha plus 1. Now, from relation between roots and coefficients we can see that some of its roots will be equal minus n from there we can find alpha as minus time n plus 1 upon 2 and also the product of root will give alpha times alpha plus 1 equal n square minus 31 by 3 as another equation. Now, from equation 1 we can put value of alpha in equation 2. So, our equation 2 becomes minus time n plus 1 by 2 multiplied by minus time n plus 1 by 2 plus 1 equal n square minus 31 by 3 using equation 1 in equation 2. Now, when we solve this equation in n, finally we get n square equal 121 from this we conclude n equal 11 because n is also a positive integer. So, we reject n equal minus 1 from this and the value of n obtained as positive integer will be equal to 11 and therefore, our right answer will be 1, answer 1 is correct.